Hello stamping friends, this is Angie with Too Cool Stamping. We're here once again for our weekly live class. This week I am very excited with the stamp set because I absolutely adore the beautiful friendship stamp set and I have a couple of projects here that I want to show you how to create and we're going to do a special cool technique faux silk on one of them. That is really fun. I hadn't done that in gosh probably a decade it seems like so we're gonna show you how to do faux silk really really pretty background uh, before we get started we're gonna let some people join us here so while we are waiting I wanted to mention that the holiday catalog items will be available September 4th that's when they go live to customers but uh, if you are interested in getting an actual holiday catalog I can't show you what's inside yet, but you can get your own, very own copy. All you have to do is uh, request one from me. Just opt in. I'm not mailing any out automatically this year. We just have had, um, there's just a lot of people that visit a lot of demonstrators and there's a lot of duplicates out there. And with the high cost of postage, I just wanted to uh, let you decide whether you need a catalog from me. And I'm more than happy to mail one out to you. I just need to know that you want one. So if you're not in a relationship with another demonstrator already, please just go to twocoolstamping.com and there is a request link right there and you can uh, let me know your contact information and I can get one out to you right away. Uh, my first mailing is going to be going out on Monday. So um, if you're pretty close to me, you're going to be getting that right away. So again, go to twocoolstamping.com and look for the Would You Like a Holiday Catalog link to uh, sign up for that and I'll get one out to you right away. Um, again, the demonstrators are ordering from them right now as a pre-order. Customers will be able to order from them on September 4th. If you can't wait and you need to get your hands on the holiday items right now, which I know some of you might want to, <laughs> uh, you're welcome to do that. All you need to do is get a $99 starter kit. That signs you up as part of the Stampin' Up! team. You get 20% off on your orders and you can select in your starter kit items from the holiday catalog. That is phenomenal. So you don't have to wait. You can order right now. $99 starter kit. You don't pay anything for shipping. That's absolutely free. And right now there's an awesome promotion going on. It's the extra extra promotion. You get an extra $30 and an extra $10 bonus coupon. So for $99 you can select $155 worth of product. That's going to be a lot off of your wish list and you'll get a $10 bonus coupon that you can use next month for an order and your order will be 20% off because you'll be uh, part of the Stampin' Up! team. So I would love for you to join my Too Cool team. I would love for you to be able to purchase the holiday catalog items already. I am already enjoying them and I'll be sharing some of those coming up pretty soon with some sneak peeks and uh, definitely as we head into September. Okay, everybody, let's get started with our projects today. So I'm going to point our camera down, so hold on. Get a good shot of my... All right. There we go. Sorry for all of the movement. That's what we have to do sometimes to make it work. So today we're going to be talking about the beautiful friendship stamp set. And I've done different projects with this already. And I just keep coming back to this set because it just makes the most beautiful backgrounds. I just really, really love it. It kind of looks like an abstract painting when you're done. So I wanted to play with some color combinations. There's just so many fun ways that you can put these flowers together and the sentiments are beautiful. So I wanted to play with that today and give you some ideas on how you could use it. If you're wanting to purchase this stamp set, it's 149252 and it is the photopolymer. So it's see-through and it's really easy to use. Uh, I also wanted to remind you, if you are interested in ordering from me, uh, you can go to twocoolstamping.com 
and uh, there's a shop now link there. If you place an order for $75 or more, be sure to use my host code. It's also on the website, but it is VKYPZCQ6. So that is what you need to do on the shopping cart page, and you'll get a free designer elements. So you'll just need a minimum uh, minimum $75 order, and I'll send that to you after August is finished. So be sure to do that. Again, that's on twocoolstamping.com. Okay, let's get started with our project today. So I'm gonna start out with a blueberry bushel card base. So this is just the eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. I've already scored that with my Simply Scored tool. And I'll crease that with my bone folder. And that will be our card base. Then we're gonna start stamping right away. And because this is photopolymer, the see-through stamps, we're gonna use the piercing mat kind of as a little cushion to help get a really nice transfer of ink. So we'll have that underneath there. Our uh, background here is five and a quarter by four, just kind of a standard size. We're gonna start with So Saffron, really pretty light yellow. And when we do, a, I'm gonna do a whole background that's filled with flowers. And when we do that, we're gonna always start with a large element first, the largest image first. So I'm going to stamp this one and then I'm going to add one more off to the side here. I just adore how those look. So, so pretty. And while I go, I'm going to be doing a lot of different stamping with this stamp set. So I want to make sure that my images are clean right away. So once I stamp, I'm going to just uh, clean those off on my Simply Chamois. You just, this is really awesome. You just wet the Simply Chamois, kind of give it a squeeze, squish onto it, and it's super clean and ready to go for the next one. So we're going to do that for every one because we're going to be using all of these a lot today. All right, next we're going to have the uh, Seaside Spray ink. And we're just going to build on this, <clears throat> excuse me, build on this collage. And again, we're st we started with a large image. This is another large image. So we're going to do that next. And we'll just do three. We like to do threes, kind of as a nice pleasing design element. All right, next we're going to add smaller flowers. And this time these are going to be in the Mango Melody. It's kind of a school bus yellow. So we're gonna add, whoops, the flowers upside down. Let's add that here. We'll add another couple here. I'm gonna stamp off on one. Put one down here and maybe over here as well. All right. So you see how this is just so pretty, it's coming together. I'll stamp off, get most of the ink off of the stamp and then clean it on the chamois. And then we're gonna add in some blueberry bushel on this flower. I'm going to stamp off. I don't want it to be quite as dark as the full color strength would be. So I just want to add that in. And give a little pop of color here and there. Love that, so pretty. Just a little bit of contrasting color. So that's with the blueberry bushel. And we'll clean that off so it's ready to go for the next one. Also with the blueberry bushel, we're gonna add the little centers of the flowers. So we'll do this in full strength. And there's a larger 
group of centers that kind of go in this little spot here that doesn't have much stamping. So I'm going to add that to the larger flower. And then there's a smaller one as well. And we'll add that to the little center that is open for that one. So that really makes those flowers pop. And then we need some leaves in there, I think. So we're going to use pear pizzazz for that. And we'll just add these kind of to fill in the blanks a little bit. And we're just doing that in full strength. So wherever we have a little hole, we're going to add that. So we have a full bouquet of flowers. And I think I want one more up here just to add some more green up there. Okay. Again, clean that off on the chamois. All right. So there is our background. Isn't that pretty? What a nice color combination. We're going to add that to our blueberry bushel, whoops, our blueberry bushel card base. So pretty. What a nice frame that is. So there's our background. And that's just absolutely, I mean, you really don't need much more than that, um, except for a sentiment, right? So let's put a sentiment on there. So I just have a scrap of the Whisper White. And I'm going to add a sentiment in blueberry bushel. My sentiment is from, let's see if I can find my stamp set. I had it around to show you. And now I've completely lost. It's called Band Together. And I've, oh, here it is. If it was a snake, it would have bit me. That's what my mom always would say. Uh, it's called Band Together. I love this stamp set. I do love the flower, but my favorite thing are all of the really awesome sentiments in this stamp set. So we're going to use the Celebrate the Best Day Ever. If you want to get the Band Together stamp set, it is 149231. 149231. So we're just going to stamp that onto our Whisper White with the blueberry bushel. And then we're going to punch that with our Timeless Label Punch. And I might add just a little bit of color to that. I like how that pops. But let's add just a little color just to make it interesting. So I'm going to take a little bit of So Saffron and that smaller flower. We're going to stamp, stamp off, whoops, stamp off once. Maybe, I think that'll be good. Once will be good. Yeah, there we go. Stamp off once and then add a couple of flowers. That just gives us a little, little extra color. And we'll add that right there. But I think we do need maybe some ribbon. So let's try. Uh, I was looking. We don't have a lot of ribbon in these particular colors. But that's okay. We're just going to make our own. So I'm going to use the metallic edge, the silver metallic edge ribbon that's on Whisper White Satin. And we're going to use a Seaside Spray Blends Marker. And if you just, actually, I already have one already half done, I think. Here we go. You can just color that in. So if you just use the brush tip end, and you're going to use the side. You don't want to go straight down. You don't want to hurt that tip. So we're just going to paint the color on. And it really goes on very quickly, very easily. Because it's alcohol-based, it's going to blend kind of bleeds into the satin and it blends together really beautifully. If you are seeing any kind of 
mottled look, just color over it. Just means it needs a little bit more of a saturation of color. And I'm using the dark seaside spray. You could use the lighter and get a little bit lighter color. So there's kind of a two different ones. I don't know if this will pick it up, but you can see this is a little bit darker. That's the dark. And then you can get a lighter version with the light blends. So you can change it up. You could probably do a little ombre if you wanted to. Um, you could do an ombre this way, one side of it in the light and one in the dark. That would be really pretty. So you can create your own. And whatever Stampin' Blends marker you have, then that's the color that you can do for your ribbon. So I did the whole thing. If you're going to have part of it underneath an element, you wouldn't even have to color the whole thing. But I like to wrap my ribbon all the way around my card front. So we'll just tie that in a little double knot. And it dries pretty quickly. It's, it's alcohol ink, so it's going to dry pretty quickly. I mean, I'm tying with it, and I'm not getting anything on my fingers, so pretty quickly. And then we'll just trim that up. So that adds a little bit of texture, a little bit of color, a little bit of shine with that metallic. And then we can just pop up our sentiment with a couple of dimensionals over the top. Celebrate the best day ever. If you want, you could add a little bit of bling to that. So I'm going to use some rhinestones here. You can use that same blends marker to color some of the mark or some of the rhinestones. Just gently color over the top, and it makes it kind of a light blue color. You can do that again with any color. I love the blends. They allow you to really alter just about anything that is a clear embellishment. Like, which one did I do? Oh, not that one. I did this one. <laughs> All right. So we're going to add just a few rhinestones to that. And then just because I like a little bit of more shine, I love a little sparkle and shimmer. I'm going to add... I'm going to take my Wink of Stella, and I love doing this. Since this sentiment has kind of a larger font, a bolder font, I'm going to just color, just kind of trace right over each of the letters and add just a teeny bit of shimmer so that it catches the light just a little bit. It's pretty easy to do. You don't want to put a lot of shimmer on there because you don't want your your ink to bleed, so don't oversaturate it. But it just gives a tiny bit of sparkle. I don't know if it's showing up, but if it's not, you can just imagine that it's there. <laughs> so that is our card. Pretty quick, beautiful background, a little bit of sparkle and shine. And then, of course, I did a second version and this one I did with Pretty Peacock in the background and Pool Party for the larger flowers. The next largest flower grouping uh, was in Mango Melody. Then Ro Rococo Rose for the small flowers. And Pretty Peacock stamped off once for the cluster of flowers. And then the leaves again in the Pear Pizzazz. Again, I have a Pretty Peacock stamp and blends marker so we have that ribbon all altered to match perfectly and then I added some rhinestones I didn't add any color to the rhinestones but you could you could add mango melody or pretty peacock whatever you wanted to do and then I stamped another different sentiment from the band together stamp set so there are two different color combinations I am having so much fun just playing with different color combinations and seeing what goes together nicely. And it just seems like it turns out beautiful every single time. All right. So now we're going to try a different 
pick up some of my stuff here. We're going to try a different card. And this one, we're going to use the same stamp set. And we're going to have we're going to start with a thick whisper white card base. Eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And so that's going to be our card base. And then the background, rather than being all of the flowers, I actually did some texture embossing on this. This is four by five and a quarter. And then I embossed it with the scripty embossing folder. And I just love the, it's just kind of a subtle, uh, but very detailed look. I don't know if the light's picking any of that up, but hopefully you can see the beautiful texture from that scripty folder. Now I wanted to say one thing about the scripty folder. This is a new style of folder from Stampin' Up. As you recall, they are no longer working with Sizzix, and so they have new, die, new dies and new folders, and so we need to know about how to use them. If you currently have a Big Shot, then you'll need to have a kind of a little um, extra, a different embossing plate. This is a blue embossing plate. It's $10. I forgot to write down the, um, the product number, but I'll put that in the description above this video. And um, this is going to be the perfect uh, amount of width that you'll need in order to use these embossing folders. This is a 3D embossing folder. And we've had 3D before with Sizzix ones, but this one, for example, is the Subtle, which I love. If you don't have that, you definitely need it. But you can see how wide that is. This is the Scripty. It's the newer version. And you can see how thin it is compared to the other width of the 3D folder. So to make up that width that you're losing with the larger ones, any of the new style of folders, you're gonna need to have this blue embossing plate to use with your Big Shot. So that's something to keep in mind, it's just $10, and eventually we're gonna have a new die cutting machine and then we won't need this. But until then, we'll be able to use these new styles of 3D folders with no problem if we just get this embossing plate. Now, just as a reminder, if you have the old style, the thicker style, you're gonna use just the regular cutting pad and the, the 3D embossing folder. So the old style still fits in the Big Shot, uh, and then we'll have the regular style that we have, the smaller ones or the ones that are just the thinner ones. Those are always going to have two of the cutting pads and you'll sandwich those together and then run that through with your platform on your Big Shot. So just some things to keep in mind uh, as you're playing with the new products from Stampin' Up! that the Scripty is one that you definitely need that new embossing plate for $10. Again, I'll put the item number in the description later because I forgot to write that down. Actually, I could look it up probably. Oh, I don't know if it's even... I'll just put it in the description. That's gonna be the easiest thing from, from right now. Okay, so we're gonna add this to the background. So put some snail on here. And a lot of times you'll notice that I say that we need to, I like to put tear and tape and snail on the background to make sure that it's nice and secure. This one is, it's a 3D folder, but it's not a whole lot of texture on the back. So I don't feel like I'm gonna have any trouble with that coming off. So there's our background. Then I'm going to do some stamping for this uh, smaller piece. This is two and three quarter by four. And we're gonna start with Highland Heather. And we're gonna ink that larger stamp up again. Whoops. I missed a little spot. I'm gonna try it again on the background. There's always a second chance. I love that. Second chance. So we look at that. That's just, every time I stamp with these stamps, it just, it almost takes my breath away. It's so beautiful. So there is the first amount of stamping that we're gonna do. And let me clean that just a little bit more because I think we're gonna use a totally different color next time. All right, next we're gonna add the next 
the next flower with Seaside Spray again. So that's the next largest one. We're just gonna put a little bit here up in the corner. I love how there's little, it kind of has little notches out of this one and it'll go around your flower. So you don't need to do a lot of masking. You could do masking, but you don't need to, depending on how you position the flowers. They kind of, they kind of work together that way. So that is the second flower. Next, we're going to add the small flower. And I'm gonna make sure that's clean. Okay, we're gonna use Coastal Cabana with this one. That really gives a really nice pop of color. And let's see, I'm gonna go right there. Clean that off, a little squeaky squeaky to clean that. And then finally, we're gonna use some Granny Apple Green with our leaves and we'll just add those leaves popping out here let's go this way mm -hmm. fill in all the blanks all right clean that one up and then, of course, we need the flower centers. So for that one, we're gonna use Gorgeous Grape. And the larger ones. I love how fast it is to clean. And especially on a stamp set like this, where you're changing colors an awful lot, you can really play with the different color combination very quickly and easily. Okay, I have to say, I love, <laughs> I love this color combination. This is a too cool style for me. I love it, love it, love it. Actually was inspired by Julie Gilson from Stampin' Gala for this particular card that we're making today. She did a fantastic job and I loved her color combination so much I had to try it myself. So let's try faux silk technique. Have you ever done that before? Faux silk is going to give you a really pretty texture over the background and kind of mute down some of those um, tones just a little bit. And to do that, we're going to use some multi-purpose glue and you're also going to need some tissue paper. So just this is just tissue paper that you would use in a gift box to give, you know, to wrap a gift up. Just any kind of tissue paper. Um, the one I have has kind of a shiny side to it and you can use that side if you want to, but I love using the matte side. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna have a piece that is going to be oversized, so it's gonna go over the edges of your original stamp piece, and then we're just gonna crumble this all up. And I am telling you what, here's a little tip that I learned, because if you crumble this up in a ball, it's almost like it's hard to get, hard to open up, it's hard to find the edges, but if you hang on to one or two edges, one or two corners, and then crumble it up in a, into a little ball, and then you can just pull those corners apart. That way you're not fiddling. I swear, you would be surprised at how long it takes to open up a crumbled up tissue paper. <laughs> Believe me, it takes a while. So you have this really pretty crumbled look here, and then we're gonna add that to the front, and we're gonna use this multi-purpose glue. Now, how many of you ever use this end? We're used to using this side to add, you know, glue to the back of things or maybe add sequins. I don't even know if I realized that there was this end for many years. <laughs> I never used it, but we're gonna use it for this one. So you could use a glue stick if you wanted to, but I like to use this just because I always have it on hand. I'm just gonna have just a little bit of very tiny amount of glue, and then I'm just going to spread it over the whole thing, kind of smear it on. And I completely forgot one of the really good steps that I should have used that's really gonna affect everything I do from here on out. And that is, when you're putting this on, I recommend having scrap paper underneath it so that you can keep your work surface nice and clean, which now I have not, so I'm gonna have to be mindful of that. 
So now I have a thin layer of the multi-purpose glue and I'm gonna add this tissue paper right over the top. So I'll just lay it over the top and then you kinda wanna scrunch it. Scrunch it, don't just lay it flat. If you just push it flat, it's gonna smooth out those beautiful wrinkles that we have on there. Wrinkles are not always good, but for the, the faux silk technique, they're very good. So you want to kind of scrunch it together and push it down. And once you have some really pretty wrinkles in it, then you can push it down more into the, um, the glue. And you wanna make sure you get the glue all the way to the sides and make sure that you've pushed everything down all the way to the sides. Okay, and then I would recommend setting this aside to dry while you work on some of the other pieces of your card. So we'll do that really quickly. Um, I don't have a lot of other pieces, but I do have a sentiment that I want to do. So I'm gonna stamp that, and that's gonna also be in the Gorgeous Grape. And it's the sentiment from The Beautiful Friendship, birthdays are the best. And we're just gonna stamp this on a stitched shapes circle. Again, because it's photopolymer, you can see right where you're stamping. So you can get a perfect fit every time. And that is our sentiment. Okay, let's go ahead and start trimming this. You'd probably wanna wait a little bit longer to do it, but we're gonna get started with it. So you just turn it over and you can trim right along the edges here. Trim the excess away. If you wait for it to dry, you're not gonna have as much sticky ending up on your paper snips. But if you do, uh, the last video that I did, I showed how you can use the uh, adhesive remover that you can buy at any craft store and just clean the blades of your scissors. So you can watch my previous video for that. Okay, so there, woo! See, and your fingers get a little sticky. <laughs> so you gotta be careful of that. So look at that and how that, um, that looks so pretty, just a, a really soft look for that now. Okay, I'm gonna put another piece. I have a whole bunch of scrap paper here and I wanted to make sure that I had that down so I didn't have a, any adhesive on my surface and then I forgot to use it. So we'll have to be careful there. So I'm gonna add this with some snail onto a layer here and this is gonna be three, or I'm sorry, two and seven eighths by four and an eighth and it's gorgeous grape. And then we're going to add a little of the white polka dot tool, which I love. So along with this soft textured look, you're gonna add another soft textured look in white. And I'm just gonna tie that in a double knot and trim up the sides here, or trim off the ends to make it into a little faux bow. And you can see that I have one spot here that's kind of peeking out. It's actually bleeding the ink just a little bit. That's what happens if you have too thick of glue. So you just need to be very careful when you're adding this glue. Don't put big globs down there. You might even want to put a glob off to the side, off on your workspace, and then you know dab, dab that in like a paintbrush and then paint it on. So you want that layer to be super thin Otherwise, you're gonna have some little spots like this where the ink is bleeding. So just that's just a good tip. Okay, we're gonna add this to the background and we're gonna pop it up with some dimensionals. All right. I love purples, I love blues, I love greens. All of this is all of my favorite things. I knew I had to when I saw this on Julie's website, I knew I had to try it myself. So there is our card. We're gonna add that sentiment that we just put together. And fortunately, that's gonna cover up that little spot that's bleeding on there. 
It's like putting a Band-Aid on it. Won't even see it. And we'll just add that right over the top with some dimensionals. And then we're gonna finish it off, of course. What do we need? A little bit of bling on there to make it pretty. And I'm gonna use the Gingham Gala sequins, adhesive back sequins. These blue ones, I'm telling you what, I told you I love blues, greens, purples. All those colors are in here in an iridescent form. So I've been using the heck out of these blue ones. I just love them. So I'm just gonna add a few of those around for some glitz. And let's see, I'll put one down here. All right, so there is this card inspired by Julie Gilson's faux silk technique. So what do you think about that? Let's do another one really quickly. I had one that I already stamped and I did have a little bit of bleeding on this one, but we're all ready to cut. So I'm gonna, let me use my paper snips here. I'm gonna cut the edges off. This is one that I had let dry, so it's gonna be a little bit easier to cut away and not get sticky on your fingers. And I'll share with you what colors I use because they're, I just, like I said, I love playing with different color combinations and it, I just having so much fun with it. So actually did have quite a bit bleeding here, but it's okay, it'll still look really pretty. So we had Mango Melody uh, for the background. We had Seaside Spray or for the large one, Mango Melody, for the next largest seaside spray, which we've had, and then Rococo Rose for the smaller flowers, and then Poppy Parade for the centers, and uh, Granny Apple Green for the leaves. This time we're gonna put that on Poppy Parade. So the same card design just trying it with a different color combination. And we'll add some of that pretty ribbon. Oops, I have a really long piece here for some reason. Double knot. Trim it up. And this background, I'm gonna do Mango Melody for the card base. We're gonna do that scripty background again. In Whisper White. So we're still gonna have it really nice and pop off of there. Add this background with some dimensionals. Once you have all the elements, boy, it sure goes together really quickly. And even the stamping on this, once you figure out the colors, that's the hardest part is figuring out what colors you want to use. I'm going to add that to the back. Um, we can, let's see if I can find my Poppy Parade. And we'll do that. Birthdays are the best days on that. And add that with dimensionals again. I'm gonna have a second really pretty card. And on this one, we're also going to use the Gingham Gala sequins. They have the yellow ones in there and those look really pretty with this color combination. So we can add some of those. And actually, I was gonna try something a little different. This'll, this'll work though. I'm second guessing myself, right in the middle. All right, there we go. So those are our two color combinations. What do you think? Do you like the silk technique? You think you might try that yourself? Super easy. And you should have everything on hand. I'm sure everyone has tissue paper on hand that they can add to that. The liquid purpose 
uh, liquid, liquid multi-purpose glue works great. Again, be careful of the blobs because you will get a little bit more of a bleed through there if you have too heavy of a glue underneath. But other than that, really, really soft, subtle, pretty technique. Hope you guys like that. I hope that you have learned something uh, today. And let me know what you think. I'd love to hear which project you like the best, which version you like the best of each of the projects. Let me know in the comments what you liked. If you saw a tip that you've never seen before, let me know what that was. If there's something you love, tell me all about it. So that's what we have for you today. I hope you guys have really enjoyed it. Don't forget, you can request a holiday catalog from me. Just go to twocoolstamping.com and there is a link there that says, would you like a holiday catalog? Just click the link and give me your contact information. I'll get that sent out to you early next week. Also, if you want to place an order with me, don't forget to use the host code. You can also find that on my uh, website, twocoolstamping.com. So, I guess that wraps it up for this week. It seemed like it went really fast. I think it's because I love this stamp set so much. I hope you guys do too. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for spending some time with me this week and being creative. And I will see you next week, 9 a.m. on Thursday, for our next Too Cool Stamping live class. Bye-bye.